Welcome back to MH Science. In this video, we will explore the basic concept of the nuclear reaction in the first atomic bomb, known as Little Boy. During World War II, the United States, in collaboration with the United Kingdom and Canada, appointed nuclear physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer to develop a nuclear weapon in Manhattan Project. The first atomic bomb, Little Boy, was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan, on August 6, 1945. Let's discover how this nuclear bomb works. The dimensions of Little Boy are approximately 3 meters in length and 71 centimeters in diameter. Its weight is about 4,400 kilograms. Let's take a look inside. The fuel used for the nuclear explosion is enriched uranium-235, which is formed into two shapes. 1. The projectile, weighing about 38.5 kilograms. 2. The target, weighing about 25.6 kilograms. They are separated in a cylindrical tube. The fuel contains uranium-235, a fissile material capable of undergoing fission reactions. Nuclear fission is the process where the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei. Uranium-235 has 143 neutrons and 92 protons, giving it a mass number of 235. To start the fission, polonium and beryllium are usually used to emit neutrons. The neutron, known as low-energy neutron, or thermal neutron, is absorbed by the uranium-235 nucleus. The nucleus becomes unstable and splits into two smaller nuclei, barium and krypton. Apart from that, it releases three neutrons in energy. This energy is in the form of heat. The equation for this fission process shows that the total mass number and proton number before and after fission are balanced. The three neutrons released can collide with other uranium nuclei, causing them to split and release more neutrons in energy. This creates an exponential chain reaction. You might wonder why the uranium is designed into two separate shapes. This is because it is important to keep the uranium in a subcritical mass before detonation. What is a subcritical mass? A subcritical mass is a mass that does not have the ability to sustain a fission chain reaction. By calculating the mass and shape of the uranium, any spontaneously emitted neutrons are likely to escape, preventing a chain reaction from occurring. A supercritical mass, on the other hand, is one where, once fission has started, the reaction will proceed at an increasing rate. A supercritical mass is required during detonation of nuclear explosion. A material like uranium-235 can be converted from subcritical to supercritical by altering its shape, density, purity, or temperature. So, for safety purposes, the uranium must be kept in a subcritical state to prevent accidental detonation. The bomb was carried by plane, B-29 bomber, named Enola Gay, to the targeted area, Hiroshima, Japan. When the bomb is released, the timer is started. The timer ensured that the bomb would not explode until at least 15 seconds after release to ensure the safety of the aircraft. The bomb was designed to explode approximately 580 meters above the ground. The barometer is used to determine the ambient pressure and altitude. This altimeter radar also used to calculate the distance from the ground. When the altimeter radar detects the correct height, the firing mechanism is activated. Let's see how the firing mechanism works. The firing circuit is closed and an electrical charge is sent to ignite the three gun primers. The ignition sets off the four bags of cordite powder. Next to the cordite powder is an assembly of steel, tungsten carbide, and projectile uranium. When the cordite explodes, due to the gun primer's ignition, it launches the uranium projectile assembly towards the opposite end of the gun tube at a speed of 300 meters per second. 
This is why it is called a gun-type nuclear design. When the hollow front projectile reached the target, the assembly of uranium became supercritical mass. The projectile impact, cause, four, neutron initiators, consisting of beryllium and polonium, release neutrons to start the uranium fission chain reaction. The tungsten carbide tamper surrounding the uranium acts as a reflector to prevent neutrons escape and enhance supercriticality. Finally, the chain reaction is activated and causes a tremendous nuclear explosion. The explosion's yield is estimated at around 15 kilotons of TNT. The Hiroshima firestorm extended roughly 3.2 kilometers. Almost everything within 1.6 kilometers of the point directly beneath the explosion was completely destroyed. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.